How good are the Dodgers, Al? What do you think? Wow. You know, Rich, uh, they're, I mean, listen, out of their tw- last 26, I think they're 23 and 3. And, uh, you know, we know what Cody Bellinger's done. We certainly Kershaw. Alex Wood, to me, is one of the more special stories in the game. A guy that was always a talented lefty. And, you know, whether he got a fair share or not in Atlanta, I mean, what he's done. I mean, it, I think I read a stat today. He was the only Dodger to go 10-0. and 0. I mean, ERA under two at the All-Star break. You know, you throw in, uh, you know, just I, I, I think Rich Hill and, you know, the depth of what the Dodger front office had done the last few years uh, and not signing Granke and having all of these these um, different players that can mix and match. I think it'll be interesting, uh, you know, as to what they do when Agon, assuming that Adrian Gonzalez comes back, because what a problem that would be, right? You put Bellinger in the outfield, they only get stronger. And now, Rich, I mean, albeit it's a rumor, but they're talking possibly trading for Zach Britton. Yes. Could you imagine what that would do to already having Kenley Jansen and shortening the game? Yeah, it's basically like when when uh, when our aces, plural, aren't on the mound, try and beat us in seven innings, and then the Nationals strengthen their bullpen over the weekend by ac- acquiring both Ryan Matson and Sean Doolittle from the A's. Do you think this puts the Nationals on equal footing with the Dodgers, Al Leiter? I think it makes them definitely more intriguing. But interestingly enough, Rich, uh, you know, neither one of those guys were the closer for the A's, respectively, with uh, with Casillas as, as as closing. And I and I just think you, you look at what now the Nationals have and trading away a, a nice young talented sinker ball hard sinker ball guy in Blake Trinan you I, I just I don't know what Dusty Baker does you tell me if this is going to be a lefty righty tandem of Madsen Doolittle and they were closers before injuries etc you can't have uh, I don't think you have to know the solidified aspect of who's pitching when and I can't stand when I hear various people that that haven't sat in the bullpen or don't think that it really matters much as to where you bring a guy in. If he's your closer and the high leverage inning is in the seventh inning, bring him in the seventh inning. It's not it's not your um, your vibe as a as a human as you sit out there and you play out the game. I think I I don't know, but I think if the Nationals they may they're they're not finished because that was their biggest flaw uh, or wart on their team was their bullpen and it definitely got a lot better but I just don't know who would be the closer and I can't imagine Dusty having to do like a lefty righty closer tandem well I think you ask any national fan right now and they're like that 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 what what this is is better than the decision that (laughs) Dusty had to make uh, 24 hours ago because it was anybody but anybody that was coming out of the pen if you look at it Washington's 19 games over 500 Al and they had they have six losses when leading after eight innings this year, six and of them. And that's very disheartening. As you know, and anybody who's a baseball fan, you come into a game, and we saw it in my series up in New York, up in Boston, you know, with Chapman walking in the winning run, and then Kimbrell, who hadn't blown a save in Boston, gives up a solo home run in the ninth in that 16-inning eventual win by the Yankees. So those are absolutely heartbreaking losses. And the Nationals, as you just cited, uh, having multiple losses when your team is up, uh, trying to finish out a game, I just I'm not sure I'm not sure where you go. I mean, Madsen the last time he he really um, you know it was two years ago he's 30 saves this year. I said uh, you know he hasn't been the closer, and I love Doolittle's arm. I mean, there's no denying that they both have closer stuff. You're right, they are marketably improved uh, today than they were a couple days ago. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show.